Good morning guys. John Bonham, Cape Cod Wet Shaving. How's it going? Been almost two weeks. Been way too long, guys. I've been caught up in a lot of stuff. You know, summer and kids and family and um, between that and doing lives and things like that. Shaving off everything. You see it's starting to grow back. Been busy. Um, been focusing a lot on the lives. Been losing time to do my um my private videos and all that stuff so my personal videos i mean not private i'm doing the opposite of private but uh i'm back got a good shave um i'm not gonna be shaving off the mustache or the chin hair i'm slowly working that back but i'm gonna be getting rid of this stuff almost did a shave last night I was this close to doing it i was just so tired um we were at a water park for literally seven hours yesterday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. when the park closed. A place called Water Whiz. It's an awesome place, man. We got a ball. A great place. But, you know, out in the sun and all that for you know, seven hours. It's killer. But um, this was sent to me by Andy Amaya at uh, the wet shaving store. Owner, proprietor of the wet shaving store. This is a wet shaving store exclusive along with one called Saul. So this is Luna and Saul. He partnered up with Shannon at Elysian Soaps, uh, Razor Ray, did the uh, the label, and Smiley, how's it going Smiley, at Smiles for Miles, did matching brushes, limited matching brushes for the uh, the sets. So Andy sent me this to review it, got the air bubble there, um, I take a, this happens a lot is the way it is you know you putting stickers on a bunch of tubs i'll take a push pin and i'll just put a tiny little hole on it and i'll just move it around and get the air bubble out i'll do that later it's a beautiful label saul has a uh, spartan looking dude with a shield on it and a spear this looks like athena i'm assuming it might be i don't know very cool though um mm, it smells really good he, he's this was intended to be a night scent, hence the name. Um, there's cardamom, patchouli, uh, what else? Clove, uh, I'm trying to remember, it's kind of early. Uh, I went and read it and I should have written it down. That's what I get though. Peppermint, you can definitely smell the peppermint. It's one of the middle notes. There's some other good stuff in this. It smells very good. Vetiver is another one, one of the base notes. Smells delicious. So I'm going to be reviewing that. When I say reviewing, I'm going to be shaving with it. I, I, as soon as I got it, man, I started playing around with it. Lathers like a champ. Smells good. Blooms. Peppermint really comes out along with the Vetiver. Um, Pre-shave. Using my uh, Vanderhagen shave oil. I'm going to be using my Fatip Piccolo. Uh, special edition, limited edition, whichever one it is. Uh, open comb. I'm enjoying doing the open combs now that I have more stuff to shave with. Shave entirely. Gonna be polishing off with some Lucky Tiger. Since the scent on this isn't too powerful, I'm waiting for the splash. And then the balm is gonna be Deer and Croft uh, post shave balm. I don't use this stuff very often. Um, not that I don't like it, I just forget about it. It kind of sits in the back. But, all right, I'm gonna be finding some zits, I'm sure. I just spit on the phone. That's more in my mouth. I do have this thing. I don't know what that is. I scrape myself, I think, outdoors. And I keep bumping into it or scratching it by accident. It keeps bleeding. But, uh, whatever. What you gonna do? All right, guys. Oh, I forgot to say. I'll be using Permasharps. Compliments of Tobin. At Tobin's Throwbacks. How's it going, buddy? He and I were supposed to do a live shave with this, but it ended up not panning out. Um, at least not so far today. Um, I'm doing this in the morning with the hopes that we end up doing a live shave later. Uh, if he's supposed to get this today, I don't know. Mine came pretty early. So, alrighty. Uh, we'll see. We might do a live shave. I can shave twice in a day. It'll suck, but whatever. And I'm be using my Razor Rock synthetic brush. And I'm using this mug specifically for this Luna and Sol. And um, 
we'll see. It's supposed to be a busy day. My wife's getting ready to go to Boston. She and my nephew are, uh, she's taking my nephew to her sister, yeah, her sister, my sister-in-law's house where he's going to be staying since everything happened with Mary. He's been with us for about a month, a little bit longer than was planned, but that's all right. He's a good kid, man. I've known him since he was a little baby, newborn. Very good boy. Life's been kind of hard on him. This stuff lathers really well, guys. It smells very good out of the tub. But it really starts to blossom once you lather with it. And I'm going to be probably doing straight to the face. I played with it earlier. Thought I would just do that just to get the video out as soon as I can. Really wish I had done this last night, but I just, I couldn't do it. I found myself struggling just to get everything out and pick a set. And I was just like, it's not going to happen, man. But it is what it is. I can't believe how early I got this. I got it on Thursday. Tobin's supposed to get his Friday and he's West Coast. Stuff gets to me from Cali super quick. It's really cool. Love it. Mmm. So, there is peppermint in this. But it's not too much. It's not overpowering. The vetiver. I hope I'm saying that right. That's how I pronounce it. Really holds together a lot of stuff in this soap none of it's overwhelming anyone who's tried elysian know that uh shannon does pretty good with pairing her stuff but not overwhelming any of it at least the stuff that i have i only have two of her soaps the cherry tobacco sherry tobacco is really good and I don't like fruity soaps that overdo the fruity. And that was a good soap, as people know. She's been pretty popular. So, all right. The pour was really nice. I should have, well, couldn't have shown it. I'd already messed with it, but it was a really nice pour. It's not overpowering at all, which is really nice. I like that. Oh yeah, I almost forgot since it's been so long. I did bring it up though. The coffee I'm using is uh, Kenya from Sterling. It's almost out. I think that's one of my favorites. Aside from Mocha Java. That one, this one's really thick. It's espresso. Really dark and thick coffee, which is my favorite. So, all right guys. First use of the Permasharp. This is the stuff we all know from Elysian soaps is it's really thick, nice lather, plenty slick. And um, do you get, I think you get five ounces in this jar. I might be wrong. Nope, four ounces. It looks like five. It's a lot, looks like a lot of soap. But Andy and the rest of the gang did a really good job. I told Andy I'm really uh, happy for him, proud of him. Just how far he's come, how quickly, you know. And he's going through his own personal stuff. I really feel for him. He's a really nice guy. If no one's talked to him at the wet shaving store, he's also at Shave Stats. And his personal account is Amaya on uh, Instagram. 
Super good dude. How you doing, Andy? Hope everything's working out well with you, buddy. Well, I tell you, it's really super weird being able to shave all my cheeks and stuff. But I like it. Gives me a little bit longer to enjoy. All the beautiful products out there that I have. And yet to have. I think I'm going to be looking into getting some West Coast shaving sets. Uh, Vita Perez. I believe that's her last name. Perez? From Oleo. Formerly Oleo, now Chicago Grooming. Does their sets. And she does really good. I gotta use, I'm overdue to use one of hers on here. And I'm probably gonna use Sandalumo. Which I got from Andy. Might do that. Oh, this soap's good, guys. It smells good. Lather's great. As you see. I don't use this razor rock brush very often either. I don't use synthetics very often. It's one of my favorite synthetic brushes though. I think I bought it specifically <laughs> for a Halloween photo. If you can believe that. I'm sure y'all do. I just wanted an orange. That and um, Coast Guard. Because orange is one of the Coast Guard colors. So I figured I couldn't go wrong getting an orange brush. And I like the black bristles. So I ended up getting that. Uh oh. Yeah? Oh. Uh, hold on. What's up? Are we doing anything on Sunday? I don't know, man. Oh. I'll talk to you in a sec. Okay. Ugh. Kids. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. He's asking for doing something Sunday. Plans. I'm gonna seem a little bit quieter, sorry. Wife's out there getting ready. So my, uh, for those who don't know, my uh, mother-in-law who passed had custody of my nephew. And since she passed, my Sister-in-law has decided to take custody of him. Won't go into too much detail, but his mom's a putz. So. My sister-in-law lives in Newton, which is a town right outside of Boston. A lot of actors are from there. I think Matt LeBlanc's from there. Chris Evans, I think, might be. A couple of them. Not the Wahlbergs, I don't think. I know they're from outside Boston. I forget what town it might be. Stoughton or something. But uh, Jess is going to be taking him there. Some other stuff going on involving his dad. You know, it's just one of those things in life. Life throws you things. You do the best you can with it once you catch it. If you catch it. God is it right there. Sorry for the weeper. And uh, he's, a, he's a good boy. He's 16. Very mature in some regards for his age. Not so much in others. He has a lot of anger. But who wouldn't? Um, you know, it's just just one of those things, unfortunately. But he's gonna be all right. We'll be seeing him. 
Hell, maybe I can even get him to do a shave. Unlike my kids, he personally thinks it's pretty badass that his Uncle John shaves with a brush and a straight razor. But, we'll see. So I'm sorry I haven't been around, guys. I'm going to change that. Um, like I said, I've been doing the We Shave thing. Tobin's schedule's gotten busy. Mine's definitely gotten busy, so... I might not be doing them weekly anymore. We'll see. I am going to start focusing on my, my shaving for my channel. Um, I got some things to do to try to get some more subscribers. I only... I stalled at 130-something. Turns out you got to tag videos. <laughs> Anywho. This isn't much of a review video. Sorry, Andy. Um, but y'all have been seeing me use this stuff. It's really good. Not just the scent. But the uh, performance of it. I mean, I was using a perma sharp with an open comb. For crying out loud. Got way too much water. And I just nicked a pimple. So the cushion on it is great. The slickness on it is phenomenal. The scent's good. So I think it might be the cardamom. You definitely smell the peppermint. But like I said, it's, it's not overwhelming. Which is cool. Because that would be something you think would be very easy to do. Which is get an overwhelming peppermint scent. And it's not. Um, the clove in it, definitely a lot of people that might scare them off, myself included. I'm not a huge clove guy. I don't really get frag burn from it or react to it or anything, but it just, a lot of times it just squashes. That's why I was never a fan of Bay Rum. Bay Rum's grown on me, by the way. Florals have grown on me a little bit. Bay Rum has definitely grown on me. I remember telling Joe and quite a few people that I'm not a Bay Rum fan, and they were like, wow, really? And it's grown on me. I've tried some good ones. The latest one I got was Sterling, which is all right. Not terrible. Joe, I think you're still to this day, your, your Bay Rum is my favorite, easily. Um, so let me go ahead and rinse. Um, before I put anything on, I'm going to talk about post shave and all that with this. I'll be right back guys. Hey guys, I'm back. All right. Uh, oh, I heard thunder, but no way. Fair not. All right. So post, see the top of my head there. Post shave with this is, a, is remarkable really smooth i was rinsing off and it felt really good i was using some uh cooler water and it felt really good rinsing that off um poche with this is great cushion was obviously really good because i didn't tear myself up and like i've said before i'm still getting i'm used to it now i think more but i had to teach myself all over again how to shave the sideburns and the beard and all that because I haven't done it in years, so. Very good. I'm using some Lucky Tiger. I was harsh on this stuff. Last time I used it, I said it smells like goo gone. Pretty good stuff. Citrusy. There's the chin coming back. Chin hair. Oh, I miss having facial hair, guys. Great cause, though. How you doing, Kim? Oh. Thought I got some in my mouth. Alrighty. If y'all are thinking about getting this, it's uh, $20 for the soap. $20. $20. $20 for the soap. $20 for the splash. So, not bad. Pretty good deal. 
Oh. You don't need a lot of this stuff. The deer and crop dummy. Oh man. Um, so I do plan on using some Chicago grooming on here. I'm also very overdue to use some crown and crane. I might do a crown and crane month. I think I'm going to do a McDuff's month. I got to talk to Sean at McDuff's to see if I can, I want to pick his birthday month or something weird, but like maybe like the anniversary of when he started McDuff's grooming or something like that. And then I'll do a McDuff's soap, a different one each shave video for the month. That'd be cool. Do the same with Crown and Crane. Do the same with yours, Joe. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, all right, guys. My triumphant return, I guess. For now, we'll see. Because I said I would do another one in a couple days, and then 11 days went by. It happens. But, um, Luna, go get it. It smells really good. I can see why this would be a nighttime scent. I do need to use it at night and use Saul in the day. Um, just for the heck of it. So I can say I did it once. But, again, this is for, uh, only available at the wet shaving store exclusively and it's a collaboration with elysian soaps the wet shaving store razor ray did a great job with the label it's beautiful it smells for miles go get one of his brushes exclusive to the soap sets oh and there's edps what's wrong with me there's also edps i do not remember how much those were you gotta go check it out though go get them and uh all right guys i really appreciate it Thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, I'll be back making videos. So I'm super excited. I, I really miss doing it. Very good stuff. And also, if you're a coffee fan, go get yourself some Sterling coffee. Or better yet, get a subscription. Good seeing you guys. Till next time, take care. Happy shaving. Happy summer. Take it easy.